Hello there, dear viewers. Here we have Unicest, who is understandably very nervous at the moment. Since he's soon to be shipping out into war. And here we have some of his neighbors, who've come bearing... Is that fruitcake? Yes, I think it is fruitcake. After the only test is done washing his hands, he can go out and greet them. Oh, and well, now we really need to use the bathroom. Well, go ahead and do that then. Where's the option to invite neighbors in? He can ask about his favorite author, discuss neighbor changes. Hmm. He's so tense. And there's a dog. Welcome to the neighborhood. Invite neighbors in. There we go. She's got a dog that looks to be rather sick. Blue. Who's currently literally blue. Let's give a friendly introduction to everyone. Why don't you take a piece of the Wogan uh, Plotso fruitcake, eh? I hope you like the fruitcake, it's a family heirloom. Well, that's good, I guess. I think it smells bad, or you think someone smells bad? Clevite? Harheba? Oh, he's just chatting with this guy, Miles. We should probably go. Welcome again. Well, now he's actually feeling pretty good. But he's ridiculously tense, which is bad. But I mean, he hasn't got much money. So you can't buy many things yet. Let's see, how much for a bathtub? Well, you can buy a bathtub at least. There we go. He can take... take a bath. That might calm him down a bit. He's got 10 hours left. Oh right, and because he's erratic, he's talking to himself. Sometimes wild mad thoughts enter one's head. This is one of those times. What can he cook? Oh, he can't cook anything because he's got a fridge. Oh well. I guess I could talk a bit to Supriya del Kato. How about a friendly introduction? He's identified a new type of fish. Okay, that's good, I guess. He's still super tense. He can ask her when she's due. That's interesting. I didn't even know she was pregnant. But apparently she is. Or maybe he's just being mean. Oh, that was being mean, I see. No, we shouldn't insult him. Any bake anything? No. But at least he can eat something from the cooler if he's hungry. Which he's starting to get, so that might be a good idea. Have a quick meal. Have some cereal. And oh! Rosetta is going to visit. Invite her in. Well, after he's taken his food. 
I'm sure she's here to talk about him, about him joining the army. He, he can hug her lovingly. And he should give her a residence key so that you might be able to come and visit more. And here we go, he's just continuing eating his cereal. No, it's eight hours. Oh, and who is that? Clara Bjergsen? Um, sure, come on in. She's just talking about something. He's still feeling really tense. And he's ready to go to sleep. Right? Yes, he's ready to go to sleep. So I guess everyone else will just leave. This is kind of nerve-wracking. This is, you know, really nerve-wracking, actually. Yep, he's just sleeping. Is there anyone else still in the house? Yep, Rosetta is still in the house. Everyone is still in the house. Well, why don't they leave? They're just talking about something. I should really get going now. Okay, they finally left at midnight. And someone was a vampire visitor. I could just see a black little swoosh. There we go, he's off to fight in the war. He's hungry, but you know, that doesn't matter. Let's see how this goes. I'm really nervous about this, by the way. And I hope you are too. World War One was no picnic. And there is a not a significant chance that he might die. Now he's in the war. And he's feeling uncreative. Well, you know, that's fine. Phew! He made it. Oh no, he didn't. What? We regret to inform you that William has fallen in the line of duty. Our nation is grateful for the services of those, all those who laid down their lives to protect our citizens and our communities. We mourn with you at this difficult time and hope you can be comforted by the presence of family and friends. What? And there's no one there to plead for his life. This is terrible. This is awful. Come on then Reaper, shouldn't you be doing your thing? I mean there's nothing I can do because he's lying there dead. So all I have to do is just watch this. Come on then Grim Reaper, go ahead and start reaping. That's the job. Oh no, there he goes. Okay. Good, finally. I was a bit worried something went wrong with the mod. And of course he takes up his tablet with a list of the dead. <laughs> yep, he only says he's on the list. And that is so. Game over, or is it? The last sim in this household had died, but you can create more sims. Choose an existing household to play, or move another household in from the gallery. And I will end this episode here, a very short episode. But I really feel sad that William died. I wasn't expecting him to. But well, there you go. I guess that's World War One for you. It was a very lethal war. So many people killed in it. Anyway, that was it for this little episode. 
My name is Trestle242, and if you enjoyed this episode, why not leave a like, or even better, a comment? And if you really like me and my videos, why not subscribe? Thank you, take care out there everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.